I mean, I'm still behind. Like, there's no doubt I'm still behind. I'll take an item any game, though. Not sure about this one, but... Yeah, there's some good items here. Just press A. Okay. Like, honestly, I think any of these items will be fine. I have a choice in mind. I mean... That was my second choice, honestly. <laughs> I'll take a mushroom. Honestly, mushrooms are also pretty good for this board, because if you see, like, the um, direction of the sign pointing in a way you want to go, you can kind of use a mushroom to, like, book it all the way there before it changes. So yeah, that can definitely be advan advantageous for sure. Here come all the magic lamps! All the magic lamps. So what, the coin star lead I think is like 96, 98, high 90s. We'll just say high 90s. And know that if we want to get the um, coin star, we pretty much have to break 100 at this point. I'm just kind of glad Luigi lost some of the coins that he had earlier. What did he even lose them to again? I think he, like... I mean, he bought a star. I think he also bought a lamp, so that's like 40 coins. Also, Luigi was, like, really happy about that skeleton key. <laughs> Started, like, his own little kick line, too. Man, we are just getting all the four-player games we haven't gotten yet, because this is another one, and another really good one. Uh, this is Chip Shot Challenge. Aim for the hole, then hit the ball. The player closest to the hole wins. Uh, so you move the control stick to aim your shot. Um, you press the A button, hit the ball. Look closely at the slope to plan your shot. Any player who hits the ball into the hole wins coins. Uh, so yeah, it's basically um, whoever gets the closest if not in the hole, and if you get in the hole, um, basically all the players that make it in the hole will get coins. Now, going, like, second or third is honestly good for this game, because you can kind of see how your opponent does. That might be too hard. Nope, got it. Sweet. So there we go. I got my shot, but... Again, the other players are probably going to get in there, too. Although, I don't know about Wario. He didn't move it much. She didn't move it much, either, so I think I actually lucked out here. Normally, I at least tie with, like, one of the computer players, so this is actually really good for me. I think it also helps that I play a lot of golf video games, so... I have, a, in general, a pretty good idea for how golf physics work golf mechanics, stuff of that nature. It's a lot of uh, geometry and stuff. I, I always like geometry. It helped that I had like a really, really good professor. Or, not professor, but teacher, because it was high school when I took geometry. Um, let me see, where is the star? The star is right there. I'm not going to use my mushroom yet. How do I cancel? B, back? Okay, good. Unfortunately, it's not going to matter. I think I've passed the star. And Daisy's definitely going to get it. Rage. It's all the bank's fault. I blame the bank for that. <laughs> Honestly, if I were Daisy, I wouldn't use the lamp this turn. I would, uh, she's the closest to the star. I don't even think Luigi's that close to it anymore. So... Daisy, Daisy's safest option is just go for the star now, save that lamp for when you get 20 coins again, and then grab the star when there's another one in play. That'll be a big power play for her. Will she do that? Probably not, because computer players don't think about the big picture sometimes, but sometimes they can also surprise you too, so we'll have to see. I don't know if Wall uh, Waluigi, if Wario wanted that. 
Dueling Glove would have been interesting. I mean, he's in a good position where he can... I want to say bankrupt other players if he wanted to. Oh, wow, Daisy is actually... I'm actually surprised she did that. She actually did do the power play. She actually is going to try to get both the star and use the magic lamp the following turn. That is pretty damn smart. Please, Bowser Revolution. <laughs> Please. Nope. Bowser suit giveaway. He's not really in a good position to use that right now, but... I mean, you're not going to complain about a Bowser suit, I feel like. You know what? Let's get another game we haven't played yet. Yeah, Mario Puzzles Party. There we go. Another really good four-player minigame. Uh, break blocks by connecting two or more of the same color. Thwomps will occasionally fall and squash blocks for you. You move the cursor. You press A or B to rotate blocks. You press the Z bot button to drop blocks immediately. Garbage blocks will break when the colored blocks touching them are broken. So yeah, it's kind of like, you know, Tetris, Poyo Poyo, all those types of games that you know and love, but Mario Party style. Um, I do like this game. Uh, my main problem with it is I feel like uh, it can be pretty difficult uh, just because of... Uh, you don't really have, like, much room to, like, move stuff. Like, that was a pretty good combo from me right there. Um... Uh, Now we're getting into kind of that garbage state phase where... Man, Wario must have really cleaned up at the end there. But yeah, first to 100 points is basically the winner. So, GG Wario. I'm kind of glad, like, Luigi has stopped winning minigames on his own, because... It's obviously very dangerous when that happens, but there we go. Uh, how's the Switch looking? Uh, how's the Switch looking? Pretty good. A lot of great games for it. <laughs> Not that Switch slim. Well, here's the thing. I'll land on that. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go for the Happening Space. Happening Space is the better investment here. So I think this actually ties me with the Happening Spaces right now. I think. I'm either tied with it or I'm one behind. Let's see, now I bet Daisy wish. Well, again. She made a good move by sticking where she was, but. I guess she didn't really think about the uh, um, possibility of that warp block being used. Let's see, that's gonna give Wario a uh, star, and he's honestly looking pretty good right now, too. They're all looking good right now, except me. <laughs> I'm not looking good, because I'm basically a potato with very little coins. That sounds like a, a shirt slogan. Maybe that should be the new Slim Kirby merchandise. <laughs> I am a potato with very little coins. <laughs> Okay, guys, random question time. Baked potatoes or baked sweet potatoes? What do you like better? I personally like sweet potatoes more. Um, I like regular potatoes as well, but... I don't know, just sweet potatoes, I feel like... Lately, I've been enjoying a lot more. It can be kind of hard to, like, get them cooked right, though. So thankfully, the uh, warp block shenanigans don't impact Daisy that much. In fact, they actually hurt Wario more, I'd say. Because Wario didn't get anything from the bank, and 
He also just didn't get the star either. He could have saved that for something else. And now I kind of wish I didn't hit that happening space. <laughs> it's still early. I can't really say much about this yet. So yeah, everyone now has a star. And everyone has a star, and I am still very much in last place. And Luigi is going for the Bowser suit gamble. I don't think it's going to pay off, because I don't think... Uh... Nope. He is going to land on a battle space, though, and... Once again, I'm probably going to lose all of my coins, because that's what's been happening in these battle games. But, if... You know, this would be the chance for me to start making a play if I get this one. Okay, all fired up. I've won this one before, I just need to not do anything stupid this time. Because I, I find that the computer players do have a tendency to kind of flub this one up on the, like, second or third one. Just need to see which... Uh, okay. Oh damn it! I couldn't... The game is just so stressful, like... I couldn't find a good opening out of there, and then they just kept blocking me so I couldn't get a good jump or a running start to jump over. And of course, I'm the only one that doesn't get a coin from that. My god, this game does not want me to win. Okay, well, at least we got this going for us. Uh, this is the last two versus two minigame we have to play. We have Eats a Pizza. Work together to gobble up a giant pizza. The team that eats the most wins. So you move around the control stick. You press A to repeatedly eat. Toppings are tough to eat, so you have to press A more times to finish them. Uh, so yeah, remember Buried Treasure from Mario Party 1? This is basically kind of the same concept, except it's not about finding something, it's about clearing something. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this minigame. This minigame is really, really fun. Um, it's, it's just really about being more efficient with eating your pizza and clearing out the plates, which I feel like computer players kind of mess up a lot. As you can see, we do not have much left. We might actually finish the plate before... Yeah, we did. We finished the plate before time even was up, so there we go. Just a really fun game. Best 2 versus 2 minigame of the set. And another really, really good minigame. I just hate that Luigi won with me in that minigame. That's obviously not something I wanted to happen, but here we are. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, if we look up here, the arrow is pointing to the... It's pointing to the left. I want it to be to the left. So I almost kind of want to use my mushroom now. It's hard to say. Because I'm, I'm not going to get this star no matter what. At this point, I'm kind of working towards Boo. So maybe I should, you know, be doing that. Maybe I should work towards Boo. Or I should maybe just play it casually and try to, because I can only get to Boo from this one path unless I just somehow warp up here, which is not going to happen. It's really hard to say. It's a big decision, guys. I'm going to go for it. Got to go for it. I mean, I could have just got a 1 the next turn anyway. So I got a 9. Well, I'll talk about big rolls. <laughs> I could also go down here, but there's really no reason to, unless you want to change the pathway. Any of that other stuff. You know what? I gotta try it. I need I need battle game. I need coins. This 
is not going to do it either. Ten coins is not going to be a lot, and I could end up starting the next turn with zero coins as a result. And of course we get Merry Go Chomp. Why does this game hate me? This is like just the complete opposite of the last game. Although even last game was... You know, we didn't know the winner until the last turn. <laughs> like, I would have still won regardless of that last turn happening, but... Okay. Just want to get through this. I want to jump on the red one. I hope that I hope this that I did not lose because of that. Because I wanted to jump on the red one. Okay, good. Okay, I might actually win. Merry go chomp. <laughs> uh, let's go for green. I should have stuck with red. Damn it! So yeah, if you get a non-colored one that no that no one stepped on, obviously it rolls again. Wow! I actually won. Merry Go Chomp! Holy crap! <laughs> now that's not gonna give me a lot of coins. It'll give me like twenty something, nineteen maybe. Oh, Twenty-four. Okay. But hey, that's something. But honestly, I feel like this is the most coins I've had in a while. <laughs> Which is funny to say, but that's kind of the truth. It's kind of the scary truth of this game at this current point in time. Daisy's probably going to buy... No, never mind. I thought she was going to buy a... A magic lamp. But magic lamps are not offered through Bowser Jr.'s shop. They are offered through this shop, though, and Luigi's buying one. And of course, I'm alone again for Thwomp Pole of all games. This game has been not kind to me in the least bit through this entire playthrough. Let's see if I can... Make it work in my favor this time. Damn it! Why do I freak out so much for this game? It's not that hard. Just press the button that it shows. I keep choking on this game, and I'm really frustrated because of this. Oh my god. I just can't get calm, and once I press the wrong button, I have a habit of pressing another button, which also delays my progress. I just can't stay calm. I need a way to stay calm. I don't know why, like... I, th I think it's just, again, the pressure of, like, knowing that the game has screwed me up every single time I've played it. Like, that obviously doesn't help. Okay, so Luigi is gonna go for the star figures. <sighs> okay. Mushroom Cadabra.
Well, that's gonna screw Daisy over a bit. Guess what? We have another battle game! Please don't be slapped down or three door Monty, cause. I hate losing that by like only one. I saw, I saw. Damn it! Koopa Toad Boo. Koopa Toad Boo. Koopa Toad Boo. Yeah! I pressed the wrong one! Aw, oh, damn it! I think I was the first one up there, too, which is even more frustrating. <sighs> See, I did that thing where I pressed, like, both buttons at the same time, so obviously that's not good. God, we're getting every single mini game that we haven't played yet in the Mario Party or the four player category. I think we only have like three we haven't seen yet. Um, MPIQ, hit the block quickly for your chance to answer the question. The first player to reach three points wins. Uh, you press A to hit block, you press B to select it, or and you press A, B, or Z to select the answer. Um, if you hit the block in the middle of the question, you won't see the entire question. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, basically just like a trivia game. Uh, one thing that kind of sucks about it, though... Um, not that, um, but sometimes they ask, like, statistics for, like, your game file. Uh, what if I actually press the start button instead <laughs> Or I was going to hit the start button. How many items can you carry? Three. Uh, what's the largest number you can? Yeah. So that was pretty easy, but like... I don't know, I feel like there's not much you can really like say about AI on that. I feel like they almost have to see, kind of see the whole question. They have to at least kind of make it fair for you, I guess, is the better way to say it. Okay. I kind of wish I was landing on that game guy space now. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... You know what? Oh man, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. Chance time, save me in the last board. May as well try it on this board. <laughs> now I find for Mario Party 3, it's still possible to kind of get the um, chance time to work out in your favor by timing it. But really only for the t first two blocks. So you kind of have to, like, there's still a little bit of luck involved. Who will give something away, so... Who will receive... One, two, three... One, two, three... Yes! Ah! Oh. All coins. He didn't have very many coins. <laughs> it's something, though. It's something. That could have easily been stars. If that was all stars, I would have been, like, freaking out. <laughs> Probably a lot. Okay, so unfortunately I think this will give uh, Boreo the happening space lead again. He's going to be going up towards Boo. Let me guess, the next, the final five turns is next, isn't it? Ah, uh, not quite. Six turns left. You 
And I'm kind of like very slowly working my way back <laughs> after being behind. And getting a game like this is honestly pretty good. Okay, I'll take it. I win. So there we go, guys. I'm at the 48. I feel like... I I still don't know for sure if I have the minigame star back, or if I do at all, but... You know, I'm, after this turn, I could have the coin lead again. Or I could have the coin lead for the first time. <laughs> I think that's more accurate. Okay, I'm gonna steal stars. I'm gonna steal from, I guess, Daisy. Yeah, let's steal from Daisy. Because here's the thing. Wario's following me in my footsteps right now. At this point, he's gonna steal a star from Luigi, since he has more. And that's gonna be good if he does that. But, I don't know. I, I, I can't predict what the computer players are gonna do at this point. I could just do a Hail Mary of absolute BS. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a magic lamp. Like, in theory, maybe I should have waited till I got the coin star lead before I bought something, but... I guess I'm kind of in a position where I can... Wait till I get the coin star lead. That is something. I can wait till I get it, then use the lamp, because no one has a plunder chest yet. The thing is, if it gets to be the last turn, I have to use it no matter what. That, that'd be stupid to not use it. <laughs> I really like you! You brush your teeth! <laughs> oh man, these warp blocks, though. Sure how to feel about all these warp blocks right now. Okay, this will give me a chance to win some coins. <laughs> Assuming my fellow teammates work with me, not against me. Again, big if, the, the biggest of ifs. I was getting worried about the green searchlight for a minute because he was kind of like lagging behind a couple of times, but <laughs> I'm glad he decided to play along. Because, I mean, even Wario's in a position where he could steal the uh, coin star lead, too. 